Well, we're taking a break uh, from riding trains in Colorado. Oh. Uh, just to ride this train in Salt Lake City. Right. Uh, the the tracks train. Sometimes that just makes sense. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. We're actually just taking it to the hobby shop. Right. Now, riding the train to the hobby shop seems a little extreme. Sometimes and sometimes not. Well, riding any train is fun. Right. Uh, in this case, there's an event going on down there. Right. And you're not going to get parked within half a mile of the place. No, so riding the train makes sense. Right, makes an awful lot of sense. The event down there is called Witch Fest. Yes. And that seems like a strange thing to have going on at a, uh, at a hobby shop. But uh, this is the this is hobby shop we've done shows on before, the train shop. Because the train shop is more of a train ride than it, well, it's, a, it's both. It's, it's about everything you want to have it be. Okay, guys. There you go. <laughs> Keep your hands and legs inside the ride at all times. Now, if you've watched any of the shows on the train shop before, you'll know that this is not the same location. This It used to be in a strip mall right. in South Salt Lake, and they've relocated here to Gardner Village. I think it's better down here. Oh, I love it down here. This is such a fun place. Uh, it's an old uh, grist mill on the river here, and now it's also kind of a, a shopping mall right. combination theme restaurant. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, here's the new store. I like it here. It's just fun. Oh, this is just the funnest place. And like we say, Witch Fest is going on for Halloween. So uh, most of the people here are dressed up like witches. Right. <laughs> and just uh, doing a lot of sort of Halloween stuff, which is to say the place is just absolutely packed. But once you actually get inside the train shop, it's a train shop. Yes. It's a, it's a nice train shop. They have a little bit of everything and uh, just an awful lot of fun stuff. But the, the thing that's always been unusual about the train shop, and if you've seen the other show, I'll put a link up here to the previous show, in the back part, they always what had happened? train rides. They did. And model railroads. Right. And just um, a, a kind of a little theme park in the back part of the store. Anyway, the theme park, uh, the theme park park, the theme, anyway, that stuff's gone. <laughs> right, the theme park The part. theme park part is no longer inside the store, it's now outside the store. Well, that's even better. That's even better, which is to say it's much larger. Right. And now it actually is uh, a little amusement park and not just a, a sort of an arcade at the back of the store. Right. They've actually only had this park open now for just a couple of weeks. Not very long. Not very long. They moved down here a few months ago and immediately started building up the, the little amusement park back here and uh, just barely got it open in time for Witch Fest. Right. Which is big because everybody wants to come to Witch Fest. Oh, it's a big deal down and, there. And if you come to Witch Fest, we recommend you ride the train. Yes. Because <laughs> you won't park anywhere near this place. The back part of the store was always called Ricochet Canyon. Right. And they've kept that name Ricochet Canyon. Uh, and it still has kind of a Western theme to exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> but now it has, uh, well, it just has a lot more going on. It has a real train car. That's for sure. <laughs> and it has a whole little Western town out here, along with a couple of different train rides. Right. Of course, they've dressed the whole place up for Halloween. Oh, it's so much fun. And actually, the entire Gardner Village has been dressed up for Halloween, and so they're following suit over here, but as they've not been open before, it's it's not like they changed it. It's just that it's all dressed up for Halloween. Right. <laughs> and now they'll be putting it back to just kind of a Western theme uh, once Halloween is over. But once Halloween is over, they'll probably also have to just sort of close up for the year because, well, it's winter. Right. 
They had one of these at uh, the Lagoon Amusement Park when we were kids. And frankly, it was my favorite ride. That and the roller coaster. And speaking of roller coaster, <laughs> they, they've got one of those too. That's fun. They sure couldn't put this in the inside of the old hobby shop, could they? No way. I know the plans are to uh, to add some scenery and stuff to this particular train ride. They've they've got a good start on it. Right. But uh, they they have plans to make this even more impressive. Now, Gardner Village is, uh, as we mentioned before, it's an old grist mill. Yes. Uh, it was built in the 1850s, as oh, I recall, or 1860s. It's, it's really old, and it's been repurposed into this wonderful little shopping area with all these little attractions and fun things and events like Witch Fest exactly. going on. Exactly. And it's always been a wonderful place to come. Right. Uh, even if you have to ride the train to get here, which is a better way to get here anyway. That's true. But uh, it's always packed with people and all these different events going on. And Halloween, I think, is the biggest event of the year down here. So actually, given the train shop's theme of always being almost as much of an amusement park as a train shop, it's a it's a perfect fit right and i'm sure glad they've moved down here oh i love it down here it's it's wonderful so you can go to the train shop you can go to ricochet canyon and then you can come over here and get a pizza um you can shop for toys uh there's just all kinds of interesting shops and just fun things going on right i love these little boutiques that have unusual clothes yeah and then the ornamentation and everything they put up every season for Christmas or Halloween or whatever. It's just a great place to come. It is so cute. <laughs> That's cute. That's really neat. Toys! Yeah, look at this one. I guess they're all the same. You know, I've always loved Halloween. It's a fun holiday. You know, I it was just recently in the press that Salt Lake City is the most over-the-top city in America when it comes to Halloween. Well, after seeing this, I could believe it. Boy, and houses that are decorated and just everywhere you look, people have done stuff for Halloween. Well, that's awesome. It's really great. It's just really become the most popular holiday in Salt Lake City for whatever reason. But it's just really fun. Now, one of the things I've always enjoyed about the changing season this time of year is it starts getting dark earlier. It does. And uh, that just really adds to the whole Halloween thing that it starts getting dusky and dark and uh, you get to go out trick-or-treating in the dusky evening. And that's just kind of fun. Oh, it is. Plus, you can decorate those little mini lights and have all kinds of effects. And so here at Gardner Village, they've really, really taken advantage of that, that this place really comes to life as it gets dark. Right. Once the shadows fall, then this really becomes fun. Anyway, we're heading back over to Ricochet Canyon, not to ride the rides in the dark, but uh, because they're about to close down for the evening and we wanted to talk to Jeff about lighting effects. Oh yes, look at this. Because he's, uh, he wanted to show us the new lighting effects and we're actually having him help us build the lighting effects for our garden railroad. Oh boy. And so he showed us how to build these lanterns and we're gonna have these lanterns on the garden railroad. Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be really, really fun. Yeah. Gonna grow. Lots coming. Lots of yeah, coming. Yeah, it's just barely here now. Yeah, two here. months is all we had to build it. So we did what we could do in two months. But yeah, next year we should have all the stuff up and running. Should be fun. But appreciate you guys coming by for sure. So you have to close down in the winter. October thirtieth, we're gonna have to close. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll try to work on it, weather permitting. Hopefully here. November, maybe even into December. And then we're gonna try to be open for Fairy Fest next year, which is the middle of March. Okay. That's the goal. 
At least the hobby shop's open. Hobby shop is open all the time, <laughs> and of course the train ride, the tractor ride, will run all the time too, weather permitting. Yeah, because you just got the, the other park. train ride. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's just the park. Well, thanks for coming. Well, this has been a lot of fun. It sure has. If you haven't been over to the channel, or if you're not a subscriber, please head over to the channel and subscribe by clicking the blue button. Right there, the blue button. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we'll see you on Tuesday.